1976, a film emerged that boldly embraced silence in a world dominated by noise. Directed by Mel Brooks, it not only ventured into uncharted cinematic territory, but did so with a comedic flair that left audiences in stitches. Brooks, known for his humor and irreverence, took a gamble by creating a movie almost entirely devoid of spoken words, relying instead on visual gags and slapstick comedy. The movie follows a has-been director, played by Brooks himself, attempting a cinematic comeback with a silent film. What follows is a hilarious journey filled with celebrity cameos, unexpected twists, and a generous dose of absurdity. This film not only showcases Brooks' comedic genius, but also pays homage to the golden age of cinema. Now, you might be wondering what qualities make this movie a timeless symbol of the industry. Is it the clever use of silence, the star-studded cast, or the seamless blend of nostalgia and humor? As you watch, be on the lookout for the many funny, shocking, and even sad facts that unfold on the screen. With a plethora of roles, each more outrageous than the last, there's a character for everyone to love. So, which one becomes your favorite amidst the silent chaos? Is it the bumbling studio executive, the eccentric producer, or perhaps the unlikely leading man? As you enjoy the silent hilarity, we invite you to share your most memorable moment or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. What made you laugh out loud, gasp in surprise, or even shed a silent tear? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, grab your popcorn, get ready to laugh, and stay tuned for the funny, shocking, and sad facts that unfold in this silent adventure. What will be your standout moment? And there you have it, a trip down memory lane with this silent classic where the laughter speaks volumes. Your stories await in the comments section below. Mel Brooks' silent movie, directed in 1976, stands out in his body of work as a unique and ambitious endeavor. It's often considered less celebrated compared to his famous masterpieces like Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein. Despite being a financial disappointment at the box office, it's a comedic tribute to classic silent films from the 1920s and 1930s. In this film, a director attempts to create a silent movie in the 1970s, presenting itself as a silent movie. Mel Brooks, with his comedic collaborators Marty Feldman and Dom DeLuise, pays homage to the slapstick and physical humor characteristic of that era. Their performances, filled with love and respect for the silent comedy genre, successfully capture the essence of the classics. The cast, including Burt Reynolds, James Caan, Liza Minnelli, Anne Bancroft, and Paul Newman, contributes to the humor by portraying exaggerated versions of themselves. The notable inclusion of pantomime legend Marcel Marceau adds a memorable spoken word moment, enhancing the film's comedic flair. While silent movie may not reach the heights seen in Brooks' other works, it's a noteworthy addition to his early filmography. The humor, though occasionally crude and simplistic, effectively translates the essence of silent films into a modern context. The decision not to film in black and white, a departure from young Frankenstein's striking feature, is a minor critique, but it doesn't diminish the film's uniqueness. In conclusion, despite its status as an underrated entry in Mel Brooks' filmography, Silent Movie stands as a one-of-a-kind comedy that pays homage to the silent film era. Its ambitious concept, coupled with the stellar performances of the cast, makes it a worthwhile watch for fans of Brooks' early material. Mel Brooks' foray into silent cinema, silent movie, brings a distinctive touch to his repertoire, diverging from the resounding success of films like Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein. While it may have fallen short at the box office, this 1976 comedy remains a nod to the silent film era's slapstick legacy. In this venture, Brooks takes a daring step by limiting spoken words to just one pivotal role, creating a cinematic experience that echoes the silent classics of the 1920s and 1930s. The film's unique approach and comedic brilliance shine through as it pays homage to a bygone era, capturing the essence of physical humor and pantomime. Marty Feldman and Dom DeLuise, Brooks' comedic collaborators, infuse the film with their own brand of humor, contributing to the homage's authenticity. The star-studded cast, featuring luminaries like Burt Reynolds, James Caan, Liza Minnelli, Anne Bancroft, and Paul Newman, lends their exaggerated personas to the narrative, adding layers to the humor. Marcel Marceau's inclusion, a pantomime legend, delivers a memorable spoken word moment, offering a clever twist in this otherwise silent escapade. It's a testament to Brooks' ability to blend genres and showcase the versatility of silent comedy in a modern setting. 
While Silent Movie might not scale the heights of Brooks' more celebrated works, its ambitious concept and stellar performances make it a noteworthy chapter in his early filmography. The decision to forego the black and white aesthetic present in Young Frankenstein is a departure but doesn't dilute the film's uniqueness. In conclusion, Silent Movie stands as a singular comedic venture, navigating uncharted waters with a respectful nod to the silent film era. Its comedic brilliance, coupled with a stellar cast, renders it a worthwhile watch for aficionados of Brooks' early creations. Dive into this silent escapade and discover a different facet of Brooks' comedic prowess. Part 4 Amidst the wave of Hollywood retrospectives in the mid-1970s, Silent Movie stands out as a distinctive entry, standing alongside its cinematic companions exploring old Hollywood's glory days. A collection of films like Inserts, Valentino, Nickelodeon, The Wild Party, The Last Tycoon, Hearts of the West, The Day of the Locust, and The World's Greatest Lover contribute to a collective homage to the Golden Age. The appeal of Silent Movie lies not just in its silent cinematic experiment, but also in the ensemble cast that brings it to life. A lineup featuring Burt Reynolds, James Caan, Liza Minnelli, Marcel Marceau, Anne Bancroft, and Paul Newman creates a star-studded panorama. These well-known faces, stepping into exaggerated versions of themselves, add to the humor, seamlessly blending their personas with the slapstick charm reminiscent of the silent film era. A notable anecdote shared by Alan Alda adds a personal touch to the film's reception. His recollection of attending the 1976 premiere in Westwood, where he found himself laughing heartily, reflects the movie's unique appeal. Bancroft's witty remark in response to Alda's laughter showcases the divide in audience reactions, emphasizing the subjective nature of humor. It's a testament to silent movies' ability to elicit varied responses, challenging conventional comedic norms. As Brooks navigates uncharted waters with this silent escapade, the inclusion of Marcel Marceau, a pantomime legend, injects a spoken word moment that cleverly disrupts the silence. This unexpected twist adds a layer of complexity to the film's comedic landscape, highlighting Brooks' ability to seamlessly blend genres while paying homage to the classics. In summary, despite its financial underperformance, Silent Movie stands as a unique testament to Mel Brooks' comedic ingenuity. The juxtaposition of the silent film era in a contemporary setting, coupled with the stellar performances of the cast, contributes to a comedy that transcends conventional boundaries. Brooks' daring experiment, enriched by the ensemble cast and unexpected moments, ensures that it remains a compelling chapter in the history of cinematic tributes. In 1976, Mel Brooks directed a distinctive gem in Hollywood retrospectives called Silent Movie. Amidst a wave of films exploring the golden days of old Hollywood, it stands out as a unique experiment, paying homage to the silent film era. The appeal extends beyond the silent cinematic experiment to the ensemble cast, including Burt Reynolds, James Caan, Liza Minnelli, Marcel Marceau, Anne Bancroft, and Paul Newman. These well-known faces seamlessly blend their personas with the slapstick charm reminiscent of silent films. The film's humor is not only a result of Brooks' comedic ingenuity, but also the collaborative efforts of comedic partners Marty Feldman and Dom DeLuise. They infuse the movie with humor that resonates with a slapstick and physical comedy characteristic of the 1920s and 1930s silent film era. The decision to forego the black and white aesthetic, a departure from Brooks' earlier work, doesn't diminish the film's uniqueness. Instead, it showcases Brooks' ability to navigate uncharted waters, bringing the silent film era into a contemporary setting. A noteworthy aspect of silent movie is the inclusion of Marcel Marceau, a pantomime legend who injects a spoken word moment, cleverly disrupting the prevailing silence. This unexpected twist adds complexity to the comedic landscape, highlighting Brooks' versatility in blending genres while paying homage to classic cinema. The film's ability to elicit varied audience responses, as reflected in Alan Alda's recollection of laughter at the 1976 premiere, underscores the subjective nature of humor. Despite its financial underperformance, the movie remains a testament to Brooks' daring experiment and comedic brilliance. Its juxtaposition of the silent film era in a modern context, enriched by the stellar performances of the cast and unexpected moments, ensures that it stands as a compelling chapter in the history of cinematic tributes. A silent escapade that transcends conventional boundaries, it's a worthwhile watch for aficionados of Brooks' early creations.